secure all cargo. All passengers aboard. Bowman, cast off bow line. Engine room, ahead three quarters. Howdy, folks. This is your captain speaking. I'd like to welcome you aboard the Mark Twain, queen of the riverboats. Our journey today will take us up the rivers of America and into the western frontier. Along the way, I'll be pointing out some interesting sights and telling you a few stories. So just relax now and enjoy the trip. Off the starboard bow is Tom Sawyer Island. It's a great spot for climbing rocks and exploring caves. But you gotta watch yourself in those caves. You can get lost real easy. Just ask Tom Sawyer and Becky Thatcher. Heck, you can even ask old Injun Joe. <laughs> if you can find him, he went in those caves and, and he never come out. Mm, but I hear his ghost is still in there, just lurking about in the darkness. We just passed Fort Wilderness, the last outpost of civilization on the river. The waters are pretty shallow on this part of the river, but that ain't nothing to worry about on account of our flat hull. It sits only about two feet into the water. That means that we can go on rivers that are just too shallow for most boats. Here in the backwoods territory, you don't see much civilization. Just miles and miles of wilderness with only a few homesteads, and even fewer towns. Before steamships come along, supplies had to be hauled up the river by them no-good keelboats. A trip back then used to drag on for several months. But now, thanks to riverboats, it takes only a week. I guess that's why you don't see many of them keelboats on the river these days. Over there on the island is a rare sight. It's an Indian burial ground. Braves who fall in battle are brought here and placed to top those poles. Sometimes, late at night, you can see Indians coming down to pay their respects. Those tracks off the port side lead to Big Thunder Mountain, where gold was found a few years back. Up ahead is Big Thunder Falls, the last sign of wilderness in these parts. And just ahead is the landing, where our journey ends. I'd like to thank you all for joining us on the Mark Twain. We're glad you come aboard. Approach levee at one quarter steam. Man the bow line. All passengers, stand by to go ashore. 